Um, okay, everyone, so now it's time for the election process. If anybody's interested in reading the bylaws themselves, we did bring a copy. They're always available on our website. But tonight we're going to do um, the election for officers as well as the executive board. As I said before, my term is um, two years and I've decided not to step down, so I have another year and the position of chair will be up for election next May. So with regard to um, the, the elections this evening, the positions up for election are vice chair, secretary, treasurer, and at large. Um, the bylaws say that there is to be no less than three executive board members and no more than eight. And we can also have two at-large members. So just uh, so people know, if you signed up for at-large, but you would prefer to be an alternate, which does not require you to go to all of the general meetings and all of the executive board meetings, just make a notation by your name up there if you prefer to be an alternate, okay? So before we start the process itself, I think it would be good to have a little bit of an overview with regard to um, SPEDPAC. And, um, before we talk about ourselves, I think it would be helpful to hear from somebody that often deals with SPEDPAC and supports our overall mission. So I would ask Mary Tama from our school committee to just say a few words about special education in the district and her work with SPEDPAC. Mary was the recipient last year of our um, HERO Award. I will be very brief. Um, it's always a pleasure to come to these meetings, and I would say for those of you that know other families who also have children with disabilities, to please encourage them to come to these meetings because I think that there's always power in numbers, and I think that we all learn something by listening to the questions of others. And uh, just a couple weeks ago, I'm sure Carolyn mentioned this to you, that we had a presentation both by John Beer at a school committee meeting as well as FedPAC. So Carolyn and John both presented. And I think that um, it's it's really helpful for Carolyn to, and John to come to our meetings. They pretty much offer testimony at every single school committee meeting. So they keep us all up to date with what's happening, what are the most current and pressing issues that are facing this community, which includes 11,000 children. It's actually over 11,000 children. So nearly a fifth of our population in the Boston Public Schools are children with disabilities. So um, it's always, um, you know, great for me to be here and to learn of, of what's happening. Um, we encourage emails. If there are things going on that you want us to know about as school committee members, please email us, let us know. Uh, if I can be helpful in any way, um, I'm always happy to be helpful and to, um, and to really hear what's going on. We have 125 schools, so parents are our eyes and ears in the community. So um, I guess that's probably it, and I, I hope everyone has a good summer, and I will see you all in the fall. So thank you.